guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video thank you so much guys in this episode i would definitely show you how to do perros in my hair okay guys so if you notice my hair right now it's a little bit of wet it's getting dry right i just washed it and i'm going to be using this penroids this penroids you can find it at Amazon or at your local beauty hair supply. And they are different sizes, different colors, really nice, right? And I'm gonna try to use it in my hair. Now I have some in my house, um, only two colors, but different sizes, right? And they carry these rubber bands. They're attached to this rubber band and I, they seem pretty easy to use. So let's see guys, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use it on my hair. My hair is really thick and curved, right? So let's see guys. <laughs> And before I start, I really want to give a special shout out, a special thanks to Frank Javares. Thank you, friend, so much for requesting this video. Um, I also want to, if you want me to make a video for you, just write it in the comments down below or find me in my, any of my social media and request a video for me and I will definitely be gladly to make it for you. My hair right now, it's getting dry after i wash my hair and now i am going to separate in four sections really important guys that you separate your hair into four sections because you don't want to end up with your hair super dry that you later on you cannot manage so separate very well it's really important to start with that a step first because later on you don't want to have you don't want to you know keep your work so stressed right so you don't want that okay so helping by doing this step it will definitely help you manage your hair wet very well okay so right now i am putting my vo5 conditioner on right and now i am brushing my hair to detangle my hair really easy correct so i don't know what type of brush do you have at home but if you have one get it at this time and do it right now and detangle your hair right now for your for your hair to be manageable not only that when you use your fingers you also letting your hair to get smooth and also you letting your hair to dry more so with this step you don't even have to use a hair dryer at all you just have to use your hands your brush you know to work it all the way through and definitely it will help this process to make it easy um and it will dry your hair okay so now i am going to be using coconut oil as my luck method because i really want this hair to look shiny i want the style to look shiny i want the style to look nice right and after that i am going to make a twist now i am going to continue to my next section To my first section, I am going to be separating my hair by using the rat tail comb. And I am going to be separating um, more sections, right? Um, for I could add my perm rods. If you want to use more hair, um, more hair or less, it's up to you. I am going to be using this much hair or in the front, right? Um, if you consider that it's too much hair, then you could use less. But if you want more volume on your hair, you could use more if you want, okay? Um, now, I am going to be adding rollos under the hair. Um, that way, it will, it will be easy to manage. I think it is better if you use it, if you put the little roll under your hair and then you roll up, right, all the way through. But while you're doing that, you have to pull your hair like all like really far away, right? That that way it will avoid your style to ruin. It. But don't worry, if you mess up, just keep going, keep trying, and you're gonna end it up doing very well. 
after you finish after, after you go all the way up then you're going to put the rubber band on top of the hair and this is going to be secure hey and let me do this one more time for you to see what I did on my second roller set so yeah you are just gonna put the roller under it and then you're gonna roll up all the way to the top and please pull your hair for your you know for your style doesn't ruin then when you get to the top you just put the rubber band on top of the hair and that's it voila this is how it looks okay guys so let's recap of everything that i just said um because i want you to do this correct okay so the first thing that you need to do is separate your hair into four sections that way your hair doesn't dry all the tangle and you can manage very well your hair then you apply your conditioner or your leave-in whatever you want to use for moisturizer right then you are going to brush your hair um you know to help detangle your hair or you could use your fingers as well but i i rather use both right for you could do that as well um after that you are going to be using your or applying your coconut oil for shine right and if you want to put something else you could do that as well and you are going to wrap your hair into twist for your hair to be secure and control while you are using your first section to put your rolls on okay so now you're gonna grab one of those sections right and then you are going to separate it by using your rat tail comb right and then you're just gonna put um gel on that hair and then you're gonna brush it with your with your brush and use your fingers and then you could comb it with this rat to tail comb right for it could get more definition right and then um you're just gonna use your rollos and you're gonna put it under the hair and then you're gonna stretch or well not stretch or pull your hair right far away from your face and then you're gonna pull up all the way up and while you're pulling and you end up at the end you're just gonna put the rubber band on top of your hair on top of the hair right and then you just gonna close it and it, and it came out really nice if this happens to you that it you know it mess up the worry about it just go ahead and do it again you know I, it's totally understandable if it's your first time right and it happens to anybody remember your rollers these rollers are super tiny and you have long hair I don't know if you have long hair like me, but this is kind of like a struggle. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did it and, and it went well. Now, if it breaks on you while you're doing your hair, don't worry. Just use one of these silver clips and it will hold your hair and it's really good. Okay, guys? So that's my recommendation. If you're going to sleep like I am, I am going to let it dry by using this satin bonnet also with my favorite scarf to hold it in place while I'm sleeping because if not it could fall off while I'm sleep because I sleep, I move a lot when I sleep. So this is going to help me. So see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, it's already the next day and now I am going to remove my satin bunny. I put a little bit of makeup. <laughs> I tried. Okay, so now it looks dry. So let's see. We're just gonna go ahead and see the results. I am going to remove them little by little and slowly with slowly slowly with slowly by slowly because i don't want to ruin my hair and i don't want to cause frizz right so this is my other tip remove them little by little and just like these um do it manually don't pull it why i recommend you not to pull because this little rollos has little the texture of this rollos has a little bit a little bit of bumps so i really recommend you not to pull them because not it's gonna mess up your hair okay um so yeah 
Um, so take them out careful and use your fingers do it manually roll it unroll it like this little by little and this is how it should came out this is how it should come out and it's really nice guys it looked pretty dry to me um so let's see all the let's see the top of the hair because it may not dry on the top right because the hair it's pretty longer right if you have shorter hair um if you have shorter hair it may dry faster than mine i mean i did i did um let my hair dry like more than 12 hours so i didn't even have to use any any heat or any blow dryer at all um to dry them it could dry really easy like this so i totally recommend you to use um your satin bonnet and voila guys this is looking nice now if you notice since this part right here is longer than the bottom my hair is longer than the bottom it is not fully dry on the top now this came out um out of the hair while trying to take them out uh, all of them pretty much all of them has hair so i really want to I really wanted to show you guys this because I want to be transparent with you that not everything is, you know, um, great, right? It could come out, it could fall, it could, hair could come out if you're not that careful, okay? And so you see, this is dry, pretty dry, except the middle part because it's not dry. The hair is longer, okay? So... Now I'm going to be using cold temperature by using my blower. Now I am going to be applying coconut oil on my hands, right? Because this is really important, guys. Listening up. This is really important before you touch your hair. Put coconut oil because it will manage very well and it would eliminate the frizz, okay? So now we are going to be separating the hair um you can separate as much as you want i'm just gonna separate only only half of it i'm not gonna do more than that um just for now maybe the next day i will separate more time more you know um but yeah you could cause you could you could create more volume if you separate and more but just try to be careful while you're separating them because you don't want to create any frizz and then your hair is gonna be ruined okay and try to be careful try to do it slowly by slowly you know um and there you go i did create a little bit of frizz in the bottom part you know but it could be fixable it could be fixed right um just wanted to let you know but this is how it came out it, it, it looks really nice and now i'm gonna be using my pick to create more volume to open my hair up for it doesn't look that flat and yeah and if you could use uh any if you could use a comb or a pick to do this process as well I really love the way it came out. It's really bouncy, really smooth. I really like it, guys. I don't know what you think. I don't know if you have used this before. Let me know in the, the comments down below. If you already used them, let me know. If you like this video, let me know as well. Please subscribe if you're new um, for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching this video. And 
Thank you guys for your support. Hello guys, thank you for watching. Please don't leave and subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them in the box down below. You can also follow me on my social media. Bye for now.